Idealbot is very easy to use software. First, open your Chrome browser. In the URL bar, type codemom.com. On this site, go to Products, then go to Idealbot and click on it. In this page, scroll down and click on Add to Chrome now. On the Extension page, click Add to Chrome, then click Add it to Extension. OK, let's log into Ideogram to generate images. Then we click on the extension that we got from codemom.com earlier. OK, let's find out each section of Idealbot for image generation process. Modes allows us to import text files or images files to import prompts. This button can be used to upload the text file or the image file containing the prompt that we have prepared. Suffix is where you add the text that you need to include after every prompt that runs. Prefix is where you add the text that you need to include before every prompt that runs. By using negative, we can remove unnecessary prompts. Implementing magic prompts can create highly effective or creative responses from AI models. Aspect ratio allows you to select the desired aspect ratio. In ideograms, public visibility gives unrestricted access to the element and private visibility restricts access within the class or module, ensuring encapsulation and protection. We can use this button to select. We can choose to images rendering quality by rendering button. We have two option fast and quality. I suggest you to quality option for better performance. To avoid account bans and temporary blocks from ideogram, we need to emulate more human-like behavior. Our recommendation is add a stop time 6 hours and waiting times of 4 hours. To start to automation bot, we can click start button. And to stop to automation bot, we can click stop button. With CSV, we can download the imported file in CSV format. Let's look at the quick demo. 